So welcome back to another episode. And today I'm gonna let my inner Trekkie out and talk all about Star Trek Bridge Crew by Ubisoft. And I've been looking forward to this game for a long time and it's got delayed. I played it on PlayStation VR. And I really wanna talk about how at first I played the game, I absolutely hated it. And now I absolutely adore it. And I'm gonna talk about that experience here because it is an experience. And one thing before I get into showing some of this footage and really getting in depth into showing the footage is that I'm recording all the footage as that character looking around the bridge. So it looks like it's very jittery, but when you're that character, it doesn't feel that way. It feels very natural. It's like, you know, putting a camera on your head and you're just like talking to people during the day. You're not even thinking about it. If you saw that camera, you'd be like, oh my God, it's so annoying. But I, I, you know, I, I just checked the footage to see and I'm like, wow, it just seems like it's all over the place. But that's because you are that character. And that's what we got to start off with. This is a Star Trek simulation game that you play with your friends or an AI, AI characters in a starship going around the universe, solving problems, getting into fights, the usual Star Trek business. It's, it's really cool. The concept is there, but are they able to pull it off? So to start playing the game, you can use the move controllers or a regular controller. The move controllers work very, very well, but you have to have a, the sweet spot in there with the camera. I found that using a regular controller, using the R2 and the L2, were the way to go. And I prefer using a controller for this game, but I have friends that absolutely love using the move controllers. When I first started playing the game, here's why I initially hated the game. I got the game, I put it, the headset on, and it's really cool. The beginning is you're in a shuttle, this is just the loading, and you're going towards your, your starship. And it's so cool, it's like, oh my god, I'm actually in a shuttle going towards a starship. It's so, uh, like, euphorically crazy. It's, it's almost a little bit, like, spooky at the same time. But as soon as I hit, okay, let's start a mission, let's go. I'm, I'm, I'm somebody who sometimes just misses the tutorials and jumps right in. I really wanted to get into the gameplay. So all of a sudden, I'm on a ship, I'm the captain, and I have all these AI characters around me. And I have all these command buttons and all these menus within menus, and I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. And you can also take over everybody else's positions on the bridge when you have an AI crew. And so I'm transferring positions and I don't know what the hell is going on. I don't know, am I supposed to scan this? How do I scan it? What button do I press? Menus within menus, as I say. And I was very frustrated. And I, just, I had to put the game down. I was getting kind of like, that kind of like VR frustration where you feel, you know it's not real and you can't figure it out and you're just getting frustrated and you just, I, you just gotta walk away from the experience. So Kim, my wife, she does this, she puts it, uh, the headset on as well and tries it. She has the same feeling as I did. And I'm like, wow, this game is not gonna live up to my expectations at all. And I was really let down. I'm like, it's so confusing. I don't know what to do. It's not fun because I'm not having fun initially where I am not a quitter. I came back the next day and I'm like, okay, let's try this again. I put it all on, headset, and I'm like, oh, there's tutorials. Maybe I should really do the tutorial. Maybe that's what I should start off with. I did the tutorial for every single position on the bridge. There's captain, there's helm, there's tactical, and there's engineering. I sat and did all of the missions uh, to figure out how each one of the um, you know, comms works and I totally got it. I totally understood what was going on. And before I knew it, I could do any of the positions on, you know, the engineering or anybody's, you know, tactical, all that, the captain's position. I knew how to do it all. So I'm like, no problem, let's do this. And so I sat, this is so funny. I sat and I did the first mission and I absolutely loved it. When you're sitting in the captain's chair and when you're playing the captain's role, you're kind of, you oversee the entire mission. And if you're playing with an AI crew, you can also take over other people's positions, as I said, but if you have people playing as real characters in those other positions, how it works is I'm the captain, I get to see what the mission is. I tell the crew, hey, we're doing this, we're gonna go here. I press where we're gonna go. 
All of a sudden, you know, the helm starts to take us there. I need power from engineering. I'm asking for that. All the power to the engines. I mean, I can even do that stuff now. Once you understand it, it's so simplistic and it's so deep and it is so much fun. And so just doing the one mission with me as the captain and the, the AI characters, what a blast. It was so much fun accomplishing that first mission. Just for that alone, it is awesome. But there's some real magic here. When you start getting your real friends in, and I had one of my friends, uh, you know, that I used to work with for a long time, and his name was like Dr. E. His name is Dr. Vancouver, and he's my helmsman. And I'm telling you, I was nearly crying. You know, I'm the captain, he's in the helm, he's, you know, flying the ship, and we are joking around, laughing at the other characters, and just having a hoot. And I'm sitting there, you know, you know, taking us into warp, taking us to other planets, we're engaging enemies, the ship is on fire, we're freaking out, I'm trying to keep it together. We were having a blast, and that's what I really want to say here, is that you really are on a starship, and you really are commanding it, and everybody's role is important. You know, the helms is important, engineering is important, like engineering, controls repairs and where to put power to and prioritize things and it's just every position is so important and it's once you get a team together you start having a lot of fun and I can honestly say and I know there's so many uh, VR naysayers out there and hey everybody's entitled to their opinion I can completely understand it you're just not into VR no problem but I'm here to say me as a kid growing up, I always wanted to be on the bridge of a starship in Star Trek. I did. You know, I was a closet Trekkie. And I was just, I always loved Star Trek. And now that I can hang out with my friends in virtual reality on a ship, and we're all talking, communicating together, we can do the Kobayashi Maru scenario together and fail together. It is priceless to me, and I, I'm not kidding, I applaud the team that made this game. It is, it is really good, it is really fun, it encourages teamwork. Everybody has to work together to accomplish the mission at any time. It's not a one-man show. It is if you're just playing with an AI crew, but the real magic comes when you got all your friends on there and you're fucking up equally together, or you've got it together and you're a one-man team and you're blasting the fuck out of the Klingons. It's so much fun and I I always know coming in talking about VR games, they're not big videos for me, I know a lot of people don't watch them, but I didn't care. I had to talk about this game because it's a hell of an experience. And anybody who has a VR headset for PlayStation VR or PC, I swear to God, it is the VR game to get for your machine. I, I've said that there's been other games that like, you know, like Batman, but Batman's not a full game. Where this is a full VR experience game that you will get your money's worth with, you know, out of with your friends. And there's also classic mode. You can play classic Star Trek mode. I haven't done that yet. I know it exists. I will do that in the future. Just some first thoughts to come and tell you guys about. I'm having a blast, man. I'm having a blast. I like taking a starship into combat, getting fucking fucked up and blown up and destroyed with my friends. There's nothing more fun than that. So anyways, guys, until next time.